Hi guys, I haven't done a video in a hot minute. I don't think I've posted in almost a month, which I don't think I've ever done. Um, but it's been a busy, a busy time. I'm getting married in like a month. But as exciting as today's video is, um, it's an empties, which do people even even still do these? I don't know. But I have so much stuff. I just like got in the mode of like collecting my empties a long time ago and I've never stopped. So this is my empties bag. This may be the biggest one ever. It smells good, I can tell you that much. Um, but we're just gonna run through, I'll tell you if I like it, if I didn't, if I repurchased, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, so I think my next video I'm gonna talk about some wedding makeup stuff because I'm doing my own makeup and my own hair for the wedding. And I'm gonna talk about, you know, what products I bought for the wedding, what products I got rid of that I thought I was gonna use, stuff like that. Um, but let's get into this one. This is a body wash I actually got for free um, from like a company to test out and write a review on. It's called Quiet and Roar Calming White Sage and Sea Salt. Um, it smells nice. I like the smell of it, um, but it's nothing special. It's like your regular body wash, not super moisturizing, not anything special. It took a really long time to get through. Um, it does, is all plant-derived cleansers, but whatever. Um, it's cruelty-free and all that good stuff. And the smell is nice, but it's super intense. Um, like, it fills up your whole shower. Like, it could be very strong if you don't like that. Um, but it is by Procter & Gamble, which I didn't realize. But, um, I'm gonna recycle this. I wouldn't buy it again. I love, I'm like, tried and true Dove. So, not my favorite, but not the worst. But definitely nothing special. This I got a while back. This is the Versed, or Versed, not sure which way it goes. Um, the Backup Plan Acne Control Body Mist, Tea Tree Oil, Witch Hazel, and Salicylic Acid. It's fine. Um, again, it's not the strongest product. Um, I would use this for like um, ingrown hairs and like after I shaved and I felt like it helped with the kind of razor burn and things like that because it kind of exfoliates um, and it's nice but again I don't think you need it. I think there's cheaper alternatives and um, I was happy to have it and I enjoyed it but I wouldn't buy it again. Dove. Um, this is the Hydrating Aloe and Birch Water Scent um, Body Wash. Not my favorite, um, it's definitely really nice, but I just still always prefer the Purely Pampering line. It's just more hydrating and like luxurious. This was more of like a regular gel. Um, but again, it was nice and it smelled really good. Nice and like neutral, um, wasn't too feminine or anything like that. So um, I did really like it. This, really not my favorite. This is the Necessary the Body Wash. This is the Eucalyptus Scent. I got this, I think, in a bad fit fun. I just felt like it was kind of dull. Like, it just didn't do anything special. It was a regular body wash that smelled like eucalyptus. The packaging was cool. Um, that's how you open it. But really, other than that, it wasn't anything special. And it's, like, so tiny. I used up some of these glowing skin vitamins. I stopped using them for a while. I just actually started a container up yesterday. Because um, I really do like them. They're but kind of expensive and I don't know if they work but I'm desperate so I tried to start them up again um, yesterday but they're fine obviously I've repurchased them I've used them a lot so um, I would recommend them but I also don't know if like they're really making a difference I don't know okay then these are the ones from retro which is the O positive brand of all the supplements. Um, these are for acne. They're, I don't know, I felt like the first couple days I took them, the first like week or so, they did amazing. And then my skin got bad and I was still taking them, so I don't really know. I probably wouldn't get them again. They are kind of expensive, um, especially for a supplement that you don't know if it's working or not. So I definitely wouldn't buy them again, but it was interesting to try and I would love to hear if you guys have tried these and if they worked for you. Okay, so BHA liquid exfoliant, 2% um, salicylic acid, essentially the Naturium version of the Paula's Choice. Um, again, fine, not my favorite. I prefer the Paula's Choice, but this has started like a whole issue with my skin. So I don't know if it was this. I'm just saying like my, I used to use the Paula's Choice 2% BHA twice a day, every day, because that's what it says on their website. But apparently that's too much. And then I was using this the same. I don't know, I used it up and it's fine, but it just makes me nervous now. But um, if you are looking for a dupe for the BHA from Paula's Choice, this is fine, but it's not the best one. Um, there's a few other brands on Amazon that I think are better than this one. Oh my god, I finally used this up. It's the Moon Shower Adaptogenic Spa Mist from Truly Beauty. I think they sell this brand at Ulta. I got this for free a very, very long time ago, and it just took a while to use it up because I always forget to use it. It's just like a mist to spray in your shower before you take your shower to like relax. It smelled really good, but I just feel like it wasn't something you need. It's definitely a luxury product to be like a nice gift if you're getting someone like a little bath set, um, but it's definitely not something like I'd go out and repurchase, if that makes sense. But if someone gave it to me as a gift, I wouldn't be upset about it, but I wouldn't really ask for it either. Does that help? I hope this. This is another brand 
um, called Skin Smart. It is a hypochlorous acid spray. I've talked about good molecules, magic molecules, that was called. Um, but yeah, they hypochlorous acid spray has been like a go-to for mine, especially with whatever acne it is that I'm having at the moment. Um, and it's great. I use it for everything, bug bites, rashes. It's a miracle product and it doesn't dry you out. Um, and this brand makes tons of ones, um, ones that are for face cleanser, one that's um, for eczema, one that's for your feet, but they're all the same ingredients, so it's just kind of the marketing. Um, so whatever one's the cheapest I would go for, but this is a good brand and um, it's one of the more affordable brands out there. Um, Tower 20, I know, makes one a hypochlorous acid, but it's very, very expensive, so I wouldn't buy that when it's overpriced and it's the same ingredients as this. It's just not as cute looking. <laughs> Kristen S, the extra gentle shampoo and conditioner use these up i have so many hair products to get through i do think these are still my favorite though like i do think like once i use everything up i'm like in a moment right now i'm trying not to buy any new hair products i have so many so i'm trying to work through what i have but honestly if i finished everything if everything got lost or something these are probably the ones i would buy honestly because i like them so much and they smell nice and they're gentle and they just work this was a bummer um this is the zilch formulas acne herbal supplement it's chinese herbal medicine um and it has all these ingredients in it and i'm sure you've seen it on instagram if you have acne or follow anyone who has acne or anything like that it's supposed to be amazing and um i do think it helps more with kind of gut based acne or even hormonal acne heat based acne um but i guess mine wasn't any of that because this did not work for me i finished a whole bottle and it's very very expensive um it's like nearly a hundred dollars i think it's like ninety dollars um, it just didn't work. It literally didn't do anything. And it's huge, giant vitamins, which is no one tells you. These pills are gigantic, which I'm fine with, but a lot of people aren't, and they taste really bad, and they smell really bad. But, um, for those who it does work for, I think that's amazing, um, because it does work. Like, I've seen it work, but just not for me. The e.l.f. Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. This is actually really nice. Um, right now I have a couple other cleansing balms, oils to kind of work through, but if I ran out of those or when I do, this is something that would I would definitely consider repurchasing. It's great for your first cleanse in the evening to remove makeup and sunscreen. Um, it doesn't irritate me or anything like that. I would actually really recommend it. It's just like a sample I think I got with an e.l.f. order. The Living Proof Full Conditioner. This I got with the shampoo. I think I still have some of the shampoo left. Um, but this was, I'm pretty sure, in a FabFit phone box. Not the best, not the worst. Um, I like some stuff in this brand, but I think it's overpriced for a lot of stuff. Like this, you could find a version of this at the drugstore for $5. Um, I just don't think it's worth the price. Um, the shampoo and conditioner. Um, for their leave-in products, I prefer those. I think they had a primer. I don't know if they even still make that product, but when they did, I really liked that. And that's something I would have kind of like asked for, for a birthday present or something. Um, but I just don't think a shampoo and conditioner at this price is worth it. My go-to essential glow moisturizer with SPF. This is my daily sunscreen moisturizer product. Um, I am working through another one, but I'm not sure if I should keep using that or a different one I'm using. But I've repurchased this at least five to eight times, I think. So I really do like it if you want like a very nice hydrating, no white cast kind of sunscreen, but it is mineral, so that's great. But it's also kind of expensive. I should have been mentioned that. Um, Batiste dry shampoo, the volumizing one. This is one of my top favorites from Batiste over some of the more scented ones. This one doesn't really have like a special smell. It's just like a hair product smell, um, but it works really, really well. So I would recommend that. Oh my God, this took forever for me to get through. The Paul's Choice, the Unscrub. It's an actual physical scrub, which I don't really use on my face at all. Um, but I got it for some reason. I think it came in like a gift set or bestsellers or something like that. And it's nice and it feels good. I just didn't think it really did much. So I actually ended up, when I was about halfway through, I ended up using it for my body in the shower for like um, roughness on the arms or anything like that. Um, so it's not terrible, but I just don't think it's necessary. I think um, a chemical exfoliant is better. This, did not love this. This I got for free from Influencer, I think. Um, the Cetaphil Rough and Bumpy Daily Smoothing Moisturizer. I did not like this. This was like sticky. It was a very strange texture. It didn't leave you feeling like greasy, like it was very heavy. Um, but it's like a lotion texture, but it just feels weird. Like I just did not enjoy it. These, I don't remember. I think I actually bought these when they came out from Hero Cosmetics, the Lightning Swipe. They had the Lightning Wand. That's supposed to be for dark spots. And I got these, um, they're pads that you can use like on your body or your face. I just didn't think they were that great. I again use them kind of exfoliate the body after shaving. Um, but I just didn't think they did that much. I just, I don't know. I, it took me a long time to get through them. This is the Hypochlorous Acid from Magic Molecule. So um, this is the one I originally used and tried and really loved. And 
than I end up finding at other brands just because they're bigger bottles for cheaper, but um, I did really like this. This I talked about a lot in um, my acne video for fungal acne, as well as a couple other videos, I think. It's this crazy product that is not anywhere on it is anything in English. Even the ingredients online don't make sense. Um, use at your own risk, but it is amazing for itching, for rashes, for scars. It's just, I don't even know, but it's really awesome. Um, it, they usually take it off Amazon, put it back on, so you just have to search like Chinese ointment. And if you see this bottle, this is it. <laughs> okay, this I really like. It's the Glossier Body Hero Body Bar. Um, it's an exfoliating um, soap. Um, and like I said, it's a physical exfoliant, um, but for your body, I think that's fine. I don't use it all the time, maybe once a week or twice a week, depending on what my skin's feeling, like if I feel like I need exfoliating on the body. Um, definitely for shaving. It's really intense though, so if you don't like that like really, really sand papery feel, you won't like it, but it smells really good. It is kind of expensive, but I think it's worth it. Um, so I always have one of these on backup, just to have. Okay, this you're gonna be surprised by. This was a sample I got of the K18 Leave in Molecular Hair Repair Mask. People really seem to like this, but I hated it actually. I think it made my hair feel really gross and weighed down and I just did not like it at all. I definitely would not spend the money that this costs to buy the full size. Pimple patches, if you know, you know, they're great. This is the like OG brand. I really love these, they're the highest quality. If you can't afford them, they have tons of cheaper versions on Amazon that I think are just fine. Um, these are great, great, great for whiteheads for helping um, deep under the skin pimples kind of become whiteheads. Um, I really recommend them and they work really, really well. They're not gonna prevent future breakouts in any which way, but to get a breakout gone overnight and things like that, they will definitely help. This is the Blemish Breakthrough Acne Clarifying Cleanser from e.l.f. It's pretty much just like any other salicylic acid cleanser, nothing too special, nothing too crazy, but it's affordable. And if you need a salicylic acid cleanser, it's a good one, um, but it didn't change my life. Um, it has some good ingredients in it, and um, I don't think I'd buy it again, but I think that if you were considering it, I don't think you'll be disappointed. This is a, a green tea toner. Um, I love a green tea toner. Um, I don't even use a toner right now, but when I did, I loved the green tea one, but I loved more of a balancing one. This one was more hydrating, and I think it was too hydrating. It was too heavy. If you have super, super dry skin, maybe it's good for you. I got this on Amazon. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Korean brand, um, but yeah, it's like too hydrating for me. But um, you might like it. it, has a lot of hyaluronic acid in it, I think that's why. Um, but the green tea itself is a great ingredient in skincare. This is Dr. Teal's Foaming Bath um, with Epsom salt. It is the menstrual relief one, so it has different kinds of like salts and fragrances that are supposed to help with that. I didn't notice any real difference that it smells okay, but definitely wasn't my favorite of all the ones from this brand or in general. I don't even think we're half done with this bag, so I hope you're comfy. This is the Trader Joe's Brazil uh, body butter. I think I have two more of these and the scrub and the body wash and this body spray. Um, it's great, it smells so good. It's definitely probably not the best for you. It has good ingredients, but it has so much fragrance. Um, but for the summer, it's so nice. So if you see it at Trader Joe's, definitely get it. The Glossier Milky Oil to remove waterproof eye makeup. Um, it's awesome. It takes me a long time to get through because I very, very rarely <laughs> wear makeup, but it removes waterproof mascara amazingly. So I would recommend it. It is small and it's kind of expensive, but if you don't wear makeup all the time, then it's definitely good because it also doesn't irritate me. I'm very sensitive in my eyes. Okay, this is the Inky List 10% Azalic Acid Serum. I love Azalic Acid. It can be very expensive. I love the one from Paul's Choice, but it's very expensive. So I opted for this. I think it's like $17, um, but it runs out super quick. Like it says there is one fluid ounce. I don't think there is. It runs out so fast. I went through this so quickly. It also pours out, so you kind of want to store it this way, but then you got to squeeze it out and too much comes out. So I think they'd be better off if they had a pump or like some kind of other packaging. But I do really like it. It's like a green color, um, but I just wish it was... I don't know, it just feels empty like as soon as you buy it and like it just, but then it does get empty really quick and you don't know. It's not the kind of thing where you're like, okay, I notice it's getting empty, let me buy one, it'll be gone by the end of the week. Like it just stops coming out. So I don't know. A toothpaste, nothing special. I like this one, but I think I'm gonna try a new one next time. Okay, this is some stuff I'm actually getting rid of because it got too old. Um, this is the Eau Naturel Cream Foundation. I remember trying this years ago, um, but this is like completely dry, like ash powder dry. Um, and I just didn't use it that often. I feel like it was nice when I first got it, but then I don't know if I stopped using foundation or I was trying too many, but it, meh, I don't know. This, the Tresemme Beautiful Strength Leave-In Treatment, actually pretty nice. Um, I would probably get this again, 
definitely stuff from this brand and definitely stuff from this line. Trust me, it's not that bad of a brand as much as you might think it is. Um, but this really helped with breakage and it was just like a nice leave-in conditioner. Nothing crazy, nothing special, but it's very affordable. This I got for free. Um, it's the Userin Skin Balance Night Cream. Didn't love it. I think it broke me out. It's a little heavy and greasy. Um, I think I ended up using it kind of just as a body moisturizer, to be honest, um, because then it's not too heavy. But for the face, I think it's a bit too heavy. Um, I think that if you have super, super dry skin, maybe, but it just was, it was too much. It was like a very weird consistency. This, I really liked this. I got in a FabFitFun box. It's the KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub with 10% AHA. So it's a physical and chemical exfoliant in one. Um, I think it's really helpful and really nice. Um, I do still prefer the Glossier Body Bar, um, but this was really nice. If you're looking for a product like this and you want to try it, I don't think you'll be disappointed. And then my Curology, um, this was amazing when it worked and then something happened to my skin and everything stopped working. Um, but if you are interested in Curology, I would recommend it. I've done a full video on it before, so you can try to find that if that's something you're interested in. Um, the Hello... It's the same brand as my toothpaste. It's a lip balm. It broke my lips out. It didn't have ingredients. I thought I was allergic to, but apparently um, it did. It smells like mint. It's fine. It's very, like, it's very nice quality packaging and everything, but something in there made my lips get bumps all over them. This is the e.l.f. Glossy Lip Stain, I think that's what it is, in Cinnamon Dreams. I really loved this when it first came out, but it's like really gross and it smells and I think it just didn't last um, as long as some of the products do. This I'm just getting rid of, honestly. This is the Paul's Choice Calm Mineral Moisturizer. Um, so I wanted to try this because I love the other one I showed you in the pinkish red packaging. Um, and this one was cheaper and I was like, you know what, let's try it. It's been around for a while. It's like clearly like their older packaging and stuff. No good. It has a white cast. It's heavy and weird and I would not recommend this one. I didn't even use it. This is like full. Another one of this one. Oh, this really bummed me out. So I use a lot of this, the Rare Beauty Tinted Lip Balm, I think it is. Dewy Lip Balm. I really liked it, but um, you can see it like got really funky and the color changed. So that's all that's really left of it. But um, yeah, it like, I don't know, it just didn't last very long. I don't really know why that happened and it smells funky. Um, I don't even think I've had it that long, um, but it was fine and all of a sudden... It got really weird, so don't know what happened there, but it was really good in the beginning. Another Curology product. Um, these are empty, by the way. The Azalic Acid from Naturium. Not my favorite. I just prefer the Azalic Acid in more of a like moisturizer, um, serum type. Um, I don't know. Uh, what's the word? texture? This was more of like a serum liquid texture. Um, not my favorite. I don't know what it, if it did as much as it could have. I think there's like too many other ingredients going on in this. Like I prefer just to say like acid and this had like coffee seed extract and vitamin C and vitamin something else. And it's just too much. This I love. This is the Honest Beauty um, Bright Eyes Tinted Eye Cream. There are two shades. I do wish there was one lighter one, um, but it's really nice. It's just the product actually broke. So the cap like the, where you squeeze the product out like snapped off. So I had to get rid of it. This is the NYX Brow Glue. I'm going to say no to this. It does keep your brows in place. And I know they have colored ones now, so they might be better. But it does leave like a white color in your brows. So you can like see it in there. So it's kind of like if you put gel in your hair, you can see it. Not my not my favorite. We have the Glossier Stretch Concealer. I'm excited for the new shades to come out. I'm definitely going to try their new foundation. Um, this one just dried out. I've had this for a super long time. There's a lot of product in there. You don't wear makeup every day. It just, you know, it goes bad. This I got in a fab fit fun did I? I can't remember. Um, it's the Laneige Lip Treatment Balm and it's like this one. It looks like this and it comes with this like little thing. It's cute and I liked it at first but then it started making my lips break out. Don't know what that's about but definitely not something I would repurchase because it is pretty pricey but it's cute. If someone's not sensitive it would be a cute gift. This is the Hero Cosmetics Rescue Balm in the green one, the color correcting for redness. Um, I think I did a video on this and I liked it, but like I just, you you really need to be a certain skin tone for this to work. Um, it, you know, it's green, goes on green, and you rub it in, it adjusts to your skin tone, but it doesn't. It's like very orangey. Um, and I think you have to be a certain skin tone for it to really work. And it's just, you can even see on Instagram when I do videos of people putting it all over, you can see that it's like not the right shade. So they either need to fix that or, I don't know. I love their original Rescue Balm for like scarring and like post acne marks, but 
this just isn't something I'd probably buy again and it's also really gross and it's separated so when you squeeze it now it's all liquid and it's really gross. This is the e.l.f. wow brow. Use this up, nothing special, tinted brow gel. Um, I still prefer the one from Glossier, but this is a great dupe if you want something cheaper. This is the brow brush, the Lash Brow Groomer from Real, Talk, Real Techniques. Um, this is fine, I like this, but these on the Real Techniques brushes get so sticky and disgusting, I just had to get rid of it. So I repurchased something that looks similar on Amazon. That's just, it's gross, I didn't want to touch it. This is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I've had this for too long. It took me like too long to go through it and now it's like really gross and sticky. Um, the Glossier Boy Brow, the best. Um, and then this one is the Seraphine Botanicals Fruit Butter Lip Mask. This was from FabFitFun. I really liked it and I really love the smell and like the whole vibe of it, but um, I don't know, it got gross too. So I've just had things for too long. I promise we're almost there. Okay. Now this is the Rescue Balm from Hero Cosmetics, the regular one. Um, I, like I said, I really like this a lot, but I didn't get through it. And you can, I don't know if you can see with the lighting, but it's like half empty, maybe more than half actually. Um, but um, it also separated. So if you have this for too long, it'll separate and get gross. This is the Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint. This is super old. Um, and I think this color is actually too dark for me. Um, some mascaras, we have the Maybelline, the Falsy Surreal. This one is horrible. Um, brush I thought was nice but it just didn't hold a curl at all and it clumped. This is the CoverGirl Lash Plumping Mascara. This one I ended up kind of liking for a minute but then it really flaked a lot and smudged. I did like the brush, the little curve to it. This is the Halo Scope from Glossier in Quartz. This one's super old and there's not that much product in there. It like dried out so I got a new one. Was this from... Mm, I got this. I don't think I paid for this. It was either from Influencer or something. Um, it's the Ilia Lip Wrap Reviving Balm. Really nice and like feels really luxurious, but again, made my lips get bumps on them. So I have some kind of weird allergy, but I do think this is super, super nice. So if you don't have weird lip allergies, I think this is amazing. Last thing is the NYX Professional Dark Circle Concealer. It just dried out and got really gross really, really quickly. Anything in a pot like this will do that. Um, and it was just like a little bit too dark for the shade. This is the light, lightest shade too. Um, so yeah, if you want like a creamy peachy under eye concealer or brightener or corrector, um, then you're pale. <laughs> no, but I do really like the one from e.l.f. So I should mention that. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions about these products or anything like that, leave them down below. Um, but yeah, this is all the stuff I've used. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and look out for my next video. So please subscribe so you don't miss it. Thank you.